all you gotta do is take a big deep breath and look at the people around you and you see healthy living. And it's all due to bacteria. And I mean good bacteria. The kind of bacteria that was discovered here due to scientific research in this country down under, as you're about to see. Zealand. It's a country known for its scenic beauty, ocean surf, unique wildlife, and most certainly, clean, healthy living. That clean living is a big reason for the overall health and wellness of the New Zealanders who live here. The biggest thing in uh, New Zealand, you look around you, you know, we've got such a wonderful country, uh, surrounded by a whole lot of water, you know, the people are driven by sport and succeeding. Kids want to grow up uh, playing for their, for, for their country in whatever sport they choose. Um, and you know, just even down here in Dunedin on a weekend, you'll find these fields all around us filled with kids running around with a rugby ball. So, you know, I think that drives good health, that drives good behaviour, and uh, ultimately, you know, people enjoy themselves. And John Tagg certainly knows about human health. He's America's Professor of Microbiology at Dunedin's University of Otago, where he's a working legend for not only his health research in probiotics, but also for his research in solving his own health scare as a child when he suffered from strep throat that led to rheumatic fever. I have a sort of a, a love-hate affair with the streptococcus over my life. Some of them are good and some of them seem to be bad. And so most of my life I was trying to come to terms with how can we live, how can we coexist with the bad streptococci by using strategies particular strategies to keep them from causing disease. It was from Professor Tagg's drive to find a solution to his own health problem that Bliss was born, the world's first oral probiotics, from the mouth, for the mouth. This unique probiotic strain for our respiratory health and well-being is designed to prevent infection before it starts. These are oral probiotics, not the bacteria that reside in the gut but rather the naturally occurring bacteria that reside in our own mouth, bacteria strains, that Professor Tagg still keeps at the university for safekeeping and future research. So John, why is this campus important to you? I love this campus because it gave me a place where I could research on my beloved streptococci for 40 years, I guess. And still, even though I've left the Department of Microbiology, my bacteria linger on there in suspended animation in a deep freeze up in the Department of Microbiology. And I visit there periodically just to make a selection of some new candidates for development as probiotics. So, love this spot. It's been great to me. Now, as Scientific Director of Bliss Technologies, John Tagg's research continues today in his own lab in Dunedin where single high-potency strains of oral probiotics continue to be discovered. Strains such as Bliss K12 and Bliss M18, which provide protection from pathogenic bacteria that can infect teeth and gums, cause bad breath, and develop into respiratory problems. What I was interested in developing was a different sort of probiotic. Rather than for the gut, I wanted one that was specific, really, for the oral cavity. After all, it seems that it's the mouth where most of the microorganisms that we encounter enter our body through the mouth. So this portal of entry for the bad bacteria, why don't we have our defenses of probiotic bacteria established there to meet the enemy right at the front row? The more we study this organism, the more we find out about it and its capability of helping to protect humans 
against malevolent microbes. These naturally occurring strains of oral bacteria not only help prevent infection in the average person, but they're also helping high-performance athletes prepare for intense competition. Athletes like Dunedin's own professional rugby team, the Highlanders, for whom Bliss is now a wellness partner. Super athletes like these guys who are the superstars of New Zealand sport are putting themselves under immense pressure all the time with their training and their playing and their traveling schedule. So to keep their immune systems as boosted as possible and themselves protected against bad bugs that they're gonna come into contact with, it's extremely important as part of a health and wellness regime. I think uh, the things that we're trying to achieve around health and wellbeing is the last 5% of an athlete's performance. And if we can get all our ducks lined up in a row and, and, and put all our athletes out on the field at 100%, the limits are endless, you know. We can uh, hopefully bring home a Super Rugby Championship. You know, you need healthy living to enjoy life on this good earth, and it's always nice to have a dose of good bacteria to help. Uh, probiotic for all ages, thanks to the scientific research underway in this country down under. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.